Hello. If you've ever done a crystal size distribution study or something similar, you would have had to think about the growth rate and the shape of the crystals that you are studying. During my master's research project, I have carried out experiments where I was able to directly observe and record growth of new plagioclase crystals from a natural basaltic melt using a high temperature heating stage. Tiny samples of pohoihoi were subjected to predetermined heating and cooling ramps whilst being observed through a microscope. The video you are seeing shows these plagioclase crystals um, growing during one of my experiments. I used the results from the Quench project products to test the relationship proposed by Holness between the crystallization time and the mean aspect ratio of crystals. Aspect ratio is an important indicator of 3D crystal shape as the 2D aspect ratio is equal to the 3D short to intermediate axis ratio. I found that my data, which was for significantly shorter cooling times than those used by Holness, generally supported the proposed relationship with the experimental data points lying close to the function line, although not completely perfectly. The results from observing crystals as they grew also indicate that crystal growth rates are generally not constant over time and slowly start to decay before reaching a halt, often caused by impingement. Many, if not all, crystals stop growing before the cooling time was complete and the melt was quenched. We know then that if we were to continue to cool the melt at the same slow cooling rate for even longer times, any calculated crystal growth rate using the traditional size over total cooling time would be using an overestimated cooling time and give an inaccurate growth rate. These results draw attention to a need for better constraints on true crystal growth rates and shapes in future studies of natural rock. Thank you for listening and I look forward to any questions.